The McHale Report on the Efficiency of the Cabris 1 and 2 Units was formally presented to the Consolidated Commission on Utilities Tuesday night. The report blamed dirty condensers as one of the primary causes for what McHale concluded was as much as $19 million in unnecessary fuel costs to keep those generators running. But the Power Authority disputes the formula used by McHale to reach that number, pointing out, for example, that McHale presumed that the generators were running 24-7, and they also presumed operating efficiencies as if the generators were new. Newer plants are going to run more efficiently than older plants. Older plants need more reinvestment than newer plants, but all plants need investment, need smart people like Mr. McHale to come in and tell us what else we need to do to keep those plants running at maximum efficiency. Uh, but no one should believe that a, a, a generator that is 35 years old is going to run like it was 10 years old. Still, GPA General Manager Kim Flores acknowledges that the additional fuel costs are in the millions. Well, uh, we're, we're still in the process of asking Mikhail to, to take a look at other, other, other uh, calculation approaches. Uh, secondly, they, our chairman asked us to look at what is the true value of that, and that's still being that's still being computed too. As, as we, as what do you speak. think? Is it is it 19 million or is it more like 14 million? Well, it's going to be. It's it's still it's a significant number, Kevin. It's 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 probably you know in in the in the millions of dollars per year. Over but 10? Maybe I don't know. We're still trying to confirm that. But not 19. Probably not. GPA has already spent 28 million dollars on maintaining and improving the two aging Cabras units and. In the wake of the McHale report, another 14 million in maintenance and improvements are planned for them. Is the money available to improve the efficiencies in Cabris 1 and 2? And if so, where is it coming from? We borrowed over $200 million uh, two Junes ago, and 14 million of it's coming out of that bucket of money is going to be spent on Cabris 1 and 2. However, beyond the additional fuel cost to keep the old Cabris units running, Flores and Sanchez it's both point out that the real question is whether it still makes and economic and sense you know, to keep using them. The alternative, they argue, would be worse. We're going to continue to put money into it to keep them available until we can find a better alternative to oil. And once we know that, then we can make some decisions with Cabris 1 and 2. But the last thing that people should think about is turning off Cabris 1 and 2 just because they're not as efficient as Cabris 3 and 4. The overhaul of the condensers for Cabris 1 and 2 is set for January, and the plan is to keep both of those units running for years to come. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.